Hello everyone! Welcome back to Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah Presents. Me, Deborah, and the vloggy thing, and this one is, let me check, number 10. Oh my goodness, this is the 10th one of these so far. Uh, welcome back if you've been here before. Welcome in if this is your first time here. I promise we don't bite much but stay tuned for some yarny fun and lots of other things. Now, I've been off work all week. I know. For anybody who's talked to me online before, they realize that's kind of a huge deal uh, because I normally work a ton of overtime. And so this has given me a chance to do a lot of crocheting this week and not as much video watching because I usually keep videos running while I'm working because I can kind of watch and listen and work at the same time. But when I'm not working, I'm doing other things in the house, hanging out with the hubs, going on rides places, got my hairs cut, uh, went to the doctor, had some tests. I actually had a bone density test this week. If I needed any more proof that I'm old, apparently when you're 50, you start getting those too. <laughs> Yay. Um, but I have done some other videos too. I introduced my cat, Oscar. The sweet boy that he is in a video earlier this week. It's a short vid. If you haven't watched it, give it a watch. It's just a minute of me talking to my sweet cat boy and him looking around the room like the doofus that he is. Um, and also, lots of whips. Ish. No progress on the hubby blanket, by the way. Has not been touched. It's looking at me out of my, you know, the side of my face and it's going, mm-hmm, when are you going to work on me? Yeah, I know. I'll get back to it. But I do have, where to go? Been working on a, uh, another cat toy and I've kind of jammed it in here so that I have it with its little skein of yarn. This is a uh, Red Heart Super Saver Stripes in Latte Stripe. Haven't gotten to the stripe part yet, but I've got two of the handles done and I have one of the round bits started and I've tucked it in here so it's all together and I don't lose it. Pardon? Okay, but that is something that is in progress. I owe cat toys to friends and I mean for their cats, not really for them. If that makes any sense. Also, I have been working on pretty much one thing or one collection of things kind of continuously. And that's these guys. Towel toppers. No, I have not sewn in any ends and I have not put buttons on, but I've just been cranking these out kind of because I can do these while I'm watching TV. They're easy project to bring with while you're waiting on the doctor's office. Uh, this is just one of the towels that I have. I thought I'd start outlining them a little bit, make it a little bit different. Uh, no pattern here, sort of inspired by the tutorial uh, over with Pamela's Adoring Crochet. Uh, her link will be down below. She's also got the crochet, the towel topper cowl. She's been doing this. It's a year-long thing, only I decided to crank out a bunch at once because I have a lot. It's kind of become an obsession. These are the ones. I want you to look at how big this bag is. It's filled up to here. These are all done. Some of them even have the ends sewn in and some of them have buttons on them, but not all of them because I've been working on a lot of them this week. This is one of my favorites here. It's a sweet little lemon one. Y'all know how I love the lemons, but I have a bunch of them. Not quite sure what I'm doing with all of them yet. Some of them are gifts, but some of them are who knows? Maybe I'll see if I can sell them to some local people who don't have these, even though I think everybody around here crochets something. Oh, and speaking of having a lot of towels, I do have even more to do. Just so you have an idea, this <laughs> is full of towels that have not been done yet and a ball of camouflage yarn at the bottom for a hat that I owe somebody. Uh, but... Yeah, I've got a lot of really cute towels in here. Look at this. Picked these up at Walmart the other day. These are really nice cotton towels and it's a two pack. So yeah, I'll be doing more of those. I need to get some more colors of yarn though. Does that mean yarn shopping? We'll have to see. So those are the whips slash kind of completed things. 
I got another one in here that is actually an honest to goodness ongoing whip that I have not finished the top of yet. I was working on it watching TV last night. So that's in here. And this is all uh, just yarn that I've been using working on these. Oh, and something else that I guess is kind of a finished object. Uh, I was just playing. And some cotton yarn. I decided to play with a stitch. And I think I showed this last week where I had started it. Just a cotton washcloth. Some sort of stripies. It's the stitch, and I don't know what it's called, to where you have... You start, you go with uh, a single crochet, double crochet, single crochet, double crochet along the row. And the next row does it the opposite. If you have a single crochet, you double crochet into it. And if it's a double crochet, you single crochet into it. All of that. And then I outlined it with some single crochet just because I thought the blue and the white looked kind of cool. Now, so I'm not forgetting towel toppers. Let's get to a little bit of happy mail. That's right. Um, several weeks ago, a Miss Seta from Seta's Place had a giveaway. It was her, uh, she wanted to welcome some spring. It was still feeling really wintry to her. Birds of a feather wanted some spring to come in. And she had three winners. I was one of them, which made me super happy. Adore Miss Seta. Her link will be down below as well. She sends you this nice postcard that she's got in there. And thank you for being a part of Seta's Place. And, you know, her little signature saying at the end, have a blessed day. You can't help but smile when you listen to Miss Seta. It was wrapped in this nice paper, which I have since kind of discombobulated because I have pulled it out. Y'all know that I cannot wait to open my mail. That's not happening. She also sends these adorable, this isn't even the prize, these adorable little cards that hold some tea. And I have my favorite, which is English breakfast. That is my go-to tea. It's a black tea. I know, Lisa, you love black tea and you don't love the fruity flavored ones. That's okay. And also chamomile herbal tea. I like that too. But if I'm going to have, if I just want to have a cup of tea, just general, generic, it's going to be English breakfast. That's for me. And yes, I just dropped my tea bag on the floor. And she sends little packets of true lemon and true lime and true grapefruit, which I hadn't seen that one before, made from real grapefruit. Don't know how that would be in these teas, but they will be good in some other teas. Because my English breakfast tea, I like it a little bit sweetened with some milk or creamer, you know, of your choice. So, yeah, that's my basic cup of tea. Now, to the prize itself... I told you it was birds of a feather. Look at these nice pot holders. Now these are not crocheted. These are just super sweet pot holders with the silicone uh, on the outside for grippy and for heat protection. They're actually big enough to fit my monster hands. Hello. Uh, plus just the regular pot holders, which you can slip your hand into. Or you can just use as a regular pot holder. Showed these to the hubby and he's like, oh, nice. Because he cooks too. Um, and I've been waiting to put them out there. You know, take the tag off and put them out there. Because I wanted to show them first before I started using them. And then forgot to bring them in here. Because that's kind of what I do. I forget things. <laughs> I drink and I forget things. Yeah. <laughs> Little Game of Thrones reference there. Um, also, I have got... Oh, and Miss Setta's Place will be linked below in case you don't know who Miss Setta is. You must know her. Now, I've got some other acquisitions as well in my handy dandy little zipper bag that I ordered and got from uh, Ella at No Catchy Name. Crochet and other things, of course, you should have on there because I keep all of my little notions in here. I have hooks in here and I got a pair of scissors that would fit in there. These little scissors... I actually got these over near where the crayons are in, in Walmart. Um, they've got a sharp point. Snippy, snippy. They're super sharp, but they've also got this little cover that you put on them, so it's not going to try to poke through your bag. They were not expensive. I think they were like three bucks or so, a little less, because I'm cheap. But they're actually Fiskars. They're nice, and they fit in my little bag. So, yeah, I was glad to get a new pair of scissors instead of continually using my old 
clearance after Christmas $1 reindeer scissors that I've had for years that don't cut that well anymore because they've gotten sticky. You know how scissors get sometimes. Also, I got some things that may or may not be yarn related. I did get some more buttons for my towel toppers. You can never have enough of these. And I like the ones with the super big holes in them for the eyes so you can sew them on. Because I sew mine on with yarn. I don't use regular thread. And most of the yarn needles won't go through regular buttons. Found that out the hard way. Had to go find some buttons that would work. And these are what I've been using. Um, and one of these days I will show how I do my towel topper. That this button will fit right through the buttonhole that I make. It's easy peasy. And... These look super cute sitting there in the kitchen anyway. A nice big bright button, you know. Also, I mentioned in the uh, 10 non-yarny things that I do like to color. And I love crayons. Um, and yes, crayons have a scent. Crayolas have a very distinctive scent. And any of y'all who grow up with crayons, you know what I'm talking about. The Crayolas just have a specific scent. But these I had not seen before. The confetti crayons, which I think are going to be fun. A lot of crazy little colors bursting out in there. Some of the weird stuff that I color are sarcastic sayings and stuff. This will fit right in. And metallic crayons. Yes. So that's just a little treat for myself to not crochet, but these stay in the office with me. So when I have a break and I need a break, I turn around from my screens look at, pull out whatever that is that I'm working on. And by working on, I mean, it'll take me sometimes months to finish one because I don't do it that often. Pull out a color, work on a part, a <sighs> little Zen moment so that I don't kill my computer screens, you know. Also got some dividers and some sheet protectors for the binder that I got to hold my patterns in. I, I tuck the patterns into the sheet protectors and I need to make some sections. Also gotten at Walmart, really inexpensive um, because I want to divide it up by things I have done and then also what they are in categories because I'm kind of proud of myself. I've only been doing this a few months. I've done some wearables. I've done, you know, cute little cat toys, which I'm, I've got the pattern actually out of the binder now because I'm working on it. And just fun stuff. I also have patterns that I have not done yet that I have printed, you know, downloaded and printed and a lot of times purchased and downloaded and printed and there they sit. So that tells me must do more crochet. Get more time off work, right? That is, I'm looking around to make sure I haven't missed any acquisitions today because that does happen sometimes. Going to get down to the uh, shout out portion of the program. Okay. This first shout out, in addition to the folks that I will have linked below that I talked about before, is somebody that I think everybody in the YouTube Yarny community already knows. But just mad props to Crystal from Bag -A Day Crochet because she has inspired so many people to do crochet stuff and some knit stuff too because even though she doesn't knit, she gets, she has the yarn. The yarn content is fantastic, right? So yeah, gotta love Crystal of Bag -A Day. Link will be down below. She has tutorials for everything. Oh my gosh, everything. And of course, we cannot forget uh, the woman who loves all things blue, blue. And that is Miss Ladybird Loves Lisa. She is a force of nature. <laughs> she does so many fun things on her channel. Um, she's even got things like the Silver Bucket Challenge. You might end up on the spinny wheelie thingy. I get on there sometimes. I'm waiting for my name to come up. A girl can dream, right? But she does gardening, she loves cats, she does paper crafts, she crochets, of course. And if you've never checked out her channel, do so. I will have her linked below. Lots of fun. I do have a non-yarny shout out as well, because you know, I do like a lot of different things in the world besides talking with my hands. Um, and that is a channel called Strictly Dumpling. The uh, creator and curator of that channel is Mikey Chen. This is a fellow who is a total entrepreneur. Um, 
He loves food. I have never seen one human being eat this much food and still be so blasted fit. But here lately, he has shown a little bit of his workouts and stuff. And uh, that's why he looks that good. Okay, Mikey Chen is awesome. He travels around the world. Not so much traveling right now because of, you know, the things going on in the world. But he has recently moved. Well, he was in New York. And then he went to the West Coast. And now he has moved to Texas. And he is showing all the really cool food joints around where he, he lives in Texas or on the Houston area now. He's just a lot of fun to watch. Very informative with food, especially with food you may not be familiar with. I have learned so much about things like hot pot and different Chinese foods and different Korean foods because Mikey Chen talks about it. He also does some cooking and does some cooking demonstrations as well. He's really multi-talented. He's a lot of fun. Check him out. He'll be linked down below as well. And I do have a question for anybody who's still watching. Who is Yarny in nature? Girl needs some help. I have got beautiful yarn that I won from Natalie's closet. Um, it's 7525 Super Wash Merino Nylon Blend. It's super thin. I'm pretty sure it's a sock weight. 100 grams, 436 yards for each skein or each hank of yarn. Okay. I've got pattern anxiety. I want to make something nice out of it. You know, you get yarn and you think that is too nice to just make X, Y, Z. And I don't want it to just sit up in the cube. I want to use it. I want to make something with it. And I think these two hanks will go together quite nicely, either to be held together to be thicker or to be just used together. What should I make with these? Somebody tell me, give me some ideas. Now keep in mind, I'm a plus size girl. I am about a 3X. So if you're thinking about a garment, I can't just make a little top. This probably won't do it. Now if it was an open mesh top, maybe. But it's very thin. So please help a girl out. Leave a comment or two. Or three or 12. You know, hit me up in that comment section. I do want to remind you that I do have Tuesday reviews. Every Tuesday, you never know what I might review. Could be foods, could be items, could be a place, could be a channel. You just don't know. And something a little bit new. You can also, if you would like to help support the channel, buy me a cup of coffee or, you know, yarn or just, you know, towards postage and stuff. Um, on Kofi, I have my Kofi link below, so feel free if you are so inclined to do a little donation there. Also, I ask that you hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and um, again, leave me a comment. Thanks for coming by. I will see you next Saturday with another vloggy thing and Tuesday with Tuesday reviews and maybe something else in between. Thanks, y'all.